Schlagmann. Oh, happy birthday. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see, we have a few announcements this week. Um, one thing that's happened, I think, since our last meeting is that uh, Windows 8 is no longer supported. Um, so we will not be testing or working with Windows 8 in the future. And if it breaks, it breaks. Um, We've even gotten the system requirements page updated to take Windows 8 off, which is definitely a record for us on uh, system requirements page updates. Um, I think our last one took uh, two or three years. Uh, let's see. Other than that, uh, ongoing projects. Um, materials is cranking toward the finish line. Uh, thumbnails uh, is just getting started. Uh, that's that's adding. Uh, that's the ability to add uh, thumbnail images to inventory. There's going to be some new inventory views to take advantage of that as well. Um, let's see, GitHub Phase 2 still ongoing. I'm, I'm not positive how close we are on that. There's a bunch of work involved in getting the various libraries updated. Um, I think So I think we're still targeting getting that done this quarter, but I don't know exactly uh, where, it, uh, where it fits in the timeline. Uh, let's see, other stuff, um, a lot of discussion about upcoming work. Uh, we are trying really hard to get Vulkan scheduled. That's um, adding support for uh, something more modern and high performing than OpenGL. Um, and uh, there's also some proposed work that would follow on to materials and would let us uh, do more with uh, GLTF files, like being able to bring in meshes as well as uh, uh, as well as the materials, that sort of thing. So we'll keep you posted. Still, uh, still a lot of discussion on uh, exactly what's going to be next for the for the year to come. Uh, let's see, uh, Dave, do you want to talk about uh, latest and greatest with materials? Sure. So uh, pretty big decrofting just got pushed to the 559 branch. Um, most notably, uh, the second GL thread is no longer a win. Um, and, uh oh, what's going on in the Discord channel? The last published build. Well, the last published build didn't have the decruft in it. Um, I'm actually using the decruft build right now. Um, okay. okay, yeah, we shipped a new project viewer, I think, yesterday, so if that's busted, we should look into getting it updated. Huh. Maybe it does have a decruft. Okay, I'll check it out. Uh, neat. Um, but suffice to say, uh, a lot of members got removed from L draw info and L vertex buffer and um, uh, a lot of optimization went into how we render shadows and how we manage vertex buffers. Um, so far I've tested that on Intel and NVIDIA. I haven't tested it on AMD yet, um, but the uh, performance one is significant. Um, now you got me curious what's going on in Discord. <laughs> uh, but that's what's going on there. And we're going to be wrapping up the visuals and UI and uh, pushing on with just bug fix and polish until it's ready to ship. All righty. Uh, let's see. Other things, Ryder? Any comments on what's going on in Serverland? We're uh, pushing um, the the uh, HTTP header uh, dirt sim next week, so so that should uh, that should be nice. And the uh, five five and the uh, 
The other the other one we had in RC this week will probably go out the next week. What does the uh, header one do? Uh, it changes the uh, in LSL. It changes the way we do header accounting. So rather than eight custom headers of 256 bytes each, um, you can have you have a uh, space of about 4K that you can that you can divide however you like. All right. Let's see. Anybody else? Oh, uh, Mojo is here. Uh, Mojo, any updates or things you want to talk about this week? Yep, uh, I'm not hearing Mojo. Oh, this may be misbehaving. Uh, oh, I had one other question for the the crew here. Um, is has anybody built the viewer recently with uh, Open JPEG 2.5? I think this is only relevant to people who don't have uh, KDU or or building the viewer that doesn't use it for some reason. Sort of recently. All gray textures. Uh, how how sort of recently? Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, the the theory is that the current viewer is supposed to use JPEG 2.5 and is supposed to work as opposed to giving gray textures. So, if it's misbehaving, then uh, publish the wrong viewer. Hmm. Okay. Maybe. I mean, this is this is about what's in the repo rather than what's in the rather than what's in the builds. It's like if you build the viewer yourself using the uh, OS viewer, problem with partial decoding. Okay, well, thanks for the feedback. We should uh, dig into that more then. All right, well, that is all I had for planned topics. Uh, anybody have other questions, things to chat about, general concerns? Uh, Kitty, yeah, I think we have a test viewer with the inventory texture tooltip uh, preview, and the next step is that we'll be looking to pull that functionality into the uh, thumbnails viewer as we as we continue adding thumbnail support um, you know we'll kind of start out uh, start out adding the support for uh, for viewer thumbnails and then uh, expand it to other uh, inventory item types as we uh, as we add the back end support for that Crash out and find what they were wearing as moved to lost and found. Uh, what viewers uh, have folks been using when they've seen that? It's been on our viewer genesis, but yeah. I've also heard that happens on Firestorm as well. Oh, that's interesting. I have heard about that one. Atlas, does that ring a bell with uh, QA? Sorry, I missed that. What was that? A uh, question about a uh, question in chat about uh, people crashing out and finding that what they're wearing is moved to lost and found. Have, uh, have you guys been getting reports about that? I have not heard anything about that, but I'll, uh, I'll see if Dan's heard anything about it. Okay, cool. It's incredibly seldom so difficult to catch. So yeah, Kitty, we're very jazzed about the uh, texture preview stuff, and uh, I think it'll make a great, 
great first step on trying to kind of thumbnailify the world. Uh, thanks for thanks for sending that along. <laughs> uh, we're definitely not going to rewrite the all of the graphics code to work with metal. Um, there is there is a path that we're going to look into of using a, a library called Molten VK, which is supposed to translate Vulcan calls to metal. Um, if that if that works and behaves, then that might be a good path forward on Mac. But um, you know, given given the size of our team and the um, you know, size of the Mac user base, we couldn't justify a, a full metal port, full metal jacket, I don't know, whatever. All right, other topics. What's going on in uh, TPV land? Any new releases or interesting new features? I heard that uh, local mesh went out. That sounds very spiffy.
Yeah, welcome. This looks very exciting. Uh, anything else going on? New, new features in the works? Alright, sounds like maybe we don't have a lot of topics. Well, we'll, uh, we'll call it if we don't have anything else to talk about this week. <laughs> That's a plan. Yeah, I'm, I'm quiet because I'm itching to throw in an AMD card and figure out what's going on with this build. Alright, well, let's wrap it up and let... Uh, let Dave put in an AMD card. Thanks for coming back, everybody. Have a good weekend. Thanks, folks. You guys, too. Oh, an early night. See you later. Oh, we got out of school early. Right, where are we going? I don't know they got bad it's, pipes tonight. It's got his night. Why is everyone's volume now dipped? Oh, God, what's up now?